in for a short position here. I think today we're short covering. We haven't seen anything in the New York stock tick yet to give us an entry. So we'll just be a little bit more patient. But, um, I don't know. I, I just don't, uh, I don't see this market going higher. The New York stock tick chart is, uh, Predominantly negative, I would say. There's been a lot of oscillation, oscillation around the uh, zero line in the last uh, hour or so. A lot of uh, little, you might say, doshi bars. We're going to take the 85 short, 285 short. We actually took more than three trades today after thinking about it through the afternoon. I think we're going to adjust that strategy and uh, limit our trading to three losses. Three trading losses today. That will, uh, if we run a two point stop on each one times two, that's uh, 12 points. That's about uh, $600. So I think that's uh, reasonable. And that gives us an opportunity, you know, like today we had uh, one loser and two winners, to look for other opportunities in the market and get in and take advantage of those. So I think that's what we're going to do over the next uh, few days to see how it pans out. We'll break it down a little bit here. The New York stock tick chart is developing uh, some activity below the second standard deviation. We see a reversal bar in that uh, oscillator will uh, get out of this position and look to re-enter. We don't have the best trade location. 85 is not bad, but it's not uh, not as good as 88 or 89. But at that point, it was a little less. Uh, reason to, to get short. Got some cross trade down here. We're going to take the uh, 83s. Like if we can get them. We're going to take the 83 and a quarter. So we're out of this trade 83 and a quarter. We're going to pause the video. Well, we're tempted to get back in here. We haven't had any uh, reversal action. And the uh, columns that did have positive reversals were negative in the last uh, half an hour. They're off the chart, most of them here. There's one. The one before this was one. I would have liked to get a little retracement back up to maybe the 84 before I got back in, but it just doesn't seem like it's happening. We're going to take the 82 and a quarter. We're going to take the 82 and short 282. We're only going to risk uh, a couple points, obviously, that's our stop. We need this to break down and hit the bid now. If we uh, fall here, that's no good.
I'm gonna pause the video here. We're getting out of this trade at 83. I don't like this trade. I'm not even gonna wait for my two point stop out at 83. So that made our second loss. We have one more uh, loss and then we're out of the market for good. We're gonna try to take another short, but a little higher than 82. Boy, it looks like they shook me out of this trade. Boy, if they hit the bid now. Darn, 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 darn. I hate these kind of things. See, you know, it's almost uh, when you get shaken out of a trade. But, you know, the 82 wasn't the best trade location. Now, of course, break the 30. Oh, 82 looked pretty good. <laughs> the New York stock tick chart has built a lot of negative highs. That lower highs um, and lower lows as the price declines. Just all this cross trade here, you know, in a passive kind of way, the market didn't move any lower is a concern. We'll just pause and wait a little bit. The J period just opened up. See if we can get the tape period to rally up to the 83s. We would take a short in the 83s. If everything uh, keeps looking like it is. Forget up that line. Boy, they chased me out of this trade, and it looks like the market's trying to break down. Golly. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Just sell on the fly. It never works when I do it. But we didn't go anywhere after this big cluster of volume. There it goes. Ah, oh, man, that's a killer. 82 wasn't even the best trade location, but we could have had a couple points. Period. Never got up to 83. Well, I'm not chasing the market down here. I'm just going to wait for a retracement. Uh, if you had to stop at like 10 points or something, yeah, you could probably chase the market a little bit. But with two point stops, the two point stop demands that your entrance is accurate. I would hate to use a 10 point stop. Market go. Boy, those 82s is looking pretty good now. Huh? Amazing. Looking amazing. God, I hate that. Look at this. Where did I say the exit was on the 82? 77, right? That's where we would have taken a profit, 77. Well, we're just going to let the video run now and see where we end up here. We're at the other end of value right now, 78, 77. So they shook me out of that trade. Would have been a uh, well, 78 and an 8 point trade. I was expecting some upward momentum from this cluster here. When that didn't happen, I got a little antsy and wanted to get back in, but like I said, it never worked very good when I chased the market. Now in that case, a little work. But generally, it doesn't work. The only thing I can do now is we have predominantly negative tick on the uh, day. All I can do is wait for a rally and sell around. Probably the biggest mistake today is we recognize the short covering uh, profile fairly early. You can see the E, the F, the G periods, you know, the H periods, but we weren't able to get a trade location in the 88s. We were doing some other stuff, we weren't at the desk all day, but we could have uh, taken the 88s. I guess, um, you know, that was just a, a glaring mistake not to position the 88s considering the probability that the short covering rally, the buying that we saw today was old business and uh, nothing initiative. And uh, sure enough, we saw lots of um, activity at the zero line on the New York stock tick chart. Lots of little doji bars in the uh, five minute tick and uh, sure enough, then we just uh, you know broke down, traded to the other end of value. So having said that, the video is up. We have uh, one more trade that we can take today. We have two losses and one, two, three winners. Two losses and three winners. Uh, we're a little ahead of the game today.
And uh, unfortunately, you know, we had an 82 trade location get stopped out. There was our target. So we didn't make anything on that. We lost two points. And um, we'll look to see if um, anything pops up on the tick chart into the, into the close.